For months, astronomers assured the public that 3I Atlas would amount to nothing more than a spectacular flyby, a harmless interstellar visitor that would skim past Mars and vanish into the depths of space. But the cosmos rarely does harmless without reason, and the universe has a way of shifting stories when we least expect it. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye in the void, has now delivered data that flips the narrative upside down. The numbers have changed, the trajectory has shifted, and for the first time, scientists are whispering the one thing no one wanted to hear. 3i Atlas might hit Mars. This is not merely about a comet, it is about precision maneuvers, rhythmic gas pulses, and an object behaving less like an inert fragment of ice and rock and more like a spacecraft under control. The deeper researchers probe into the data, the clearer the picture becomes. 3i Atlas is not drifting aimlessly through the solar system. It is steering, adjusting, and aiming, and the red planet appears to be directly in its path. Whatever this object is, it is not finished with us. When 3i Atlas was first spotted on July 1st, it appeared unremarkable, another interstellar wanderer blazing across the sky. A glowing blur moving at a staggering 87 kilometers per second relative to the sun, its speed alone was enough to shock astronomers. At that velocity, it could cross the Earth-Moon distance in less than 80 minutes. But what unsettled the experts was not its raw speed, it was its behavior. Comets approaching the inner solar system typically exhibit predictable traits. They slow slightly as solar gravity takes hold, they fragment under tidal stresses, or they stabilize in a broad elliptical arc. 3i Atlas defied expectations. Instead of slowing, it began accelerating, subtly but consistently. Its trajectory tightened. Slight course corrections became apparent in the tracking data. Meanwhile, its coma, the halo of gas and dust surrounding its nucleus, doubled in brightness within mere weeks. Spectral analysis revealed startling spikes in ultraviolet radiation and unusual CO2 outgassing at levels no comet had ever displayed before. To seasoned observers, it looked less like a drifting chunk of frozen debris and more like a guided missile. Then came the discovery that truly changed everything. The James Webb Space Telescope, using its ultra-sensitive deep-field sensors, detected rhythmic pulses emanating from the tail of 3i Atlas. These were not the random, chaotic jets of gas expected from sunlight vaporizing ice. They were precise thrusts, repeating every 17 minutes like the ticking of a clock. A pattern. A signal. A maneuver. As Webb's observations were corroborated by Gemini South and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the numbers told a story more disturbing with each passing day. What was once projected as a near miss shifted closer until the revised impact distance shrunk to just 1.95 million kilometers from Mars. On a cosmic scale, that is practically a bullseye. Worse, simulations revealed that even a minor increase in velocity, on the order of 10 kilometers per second, far less than what was already being measured, could alter its trajectory into a direct hit. This was control of a kind never before observed in nature. 3i Atlas appeared to be using its own outgassing as micro-thrusters, aligning its approach with the precision of an engineered spacecraft. Even more disconcerting was the orientation of these thrusts. Every pulse was aligned with Mars's orbital plane, as though the object were actively homing in on the planet. Scientists were no longer just monitoring an unusual cometary body. They were watching something aim. The potential impact window narrowed further. Between September 19th and 30th, a single additional outburst could prove decisive, nudging 3i Atlas into a direct collision course. What was once the realm of fringe speculation became the subject of serious academic debate. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his colleagues published a provocative paper arguing that 3i Atlas might be an engineered probe.
Their reasoning was supported by radar observations from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and NASA's Goldstone antennas, which returned echoes consistent with metallic structures, not the soft, diffuse signatures typical of icy comets. Confidential reports from within NASA described these reflections as unlike anything we've ever seen. At the same time, amateur astronomers capturing long exposure images reported green needle-like beams streaming from the object, three luminous filaments converging on Mars and pulsing in perfect synchrony with the 17-minute exhaust pattern. The evidence began to suggest a disturbing possibility. 3i Atlas was not behaving naturally. Loeb and others went further, proposing that 3i Atlas might be deliberately targeting Mars, not by chance, but with surgical intent. Whether to crash into the planet, to deliver probes, to transmit signals, or to seed biology, the object appeared to be executing a plan. Humanity, meanwhile, found itself in the role of a bystander, watching an operation we could barely comprehend. If it were to strike Mars, the consequences would be catastrophic. With an estimated mass of 10 billion tons and a closing speed of 57 kilometers per second relative to the planet, the impact would unleash over 2 million megatons of energy, thousands of times more powerful than the largest nuclear explosion in human history. The result would be a crater 60 kilometers across and 5 kilometers deep. Debris would be blasted into orbit around Mars, some of it ejected into interplanetary space, potentially even reaching Earth. But the destruction of rock and surface terrain is only part of the story. Mars is a treasure trove of scientific data and exploration infrastructure. Decades of climate records, ongoing astrobiological experiments, rovers, orbiters, and communication relays all could be wiped out in an instant. The scientific legacy of an entire generation would vanish in a plume of dust and fire. There is an even more unsettling layer. Mars is widely believed to harbor traces of life, past or present, perhaps deep beneath its frozen crust or locked within subsurface lakes. An impact of this magnitude would not only obliterate the surface, but fracture deep into the planet's crust, exposing reservoirs of material we have never studied. If 3i Atlas carries organic molecules, or worse, engineered biology hidden within its gaseous trails, the collision could trigger genetic contamination on a planetary scale. Some biologists describe the scenario as panspermia in reverse, not life escaping from Mars into space, but life being deliberately seeded into Mars itself. As 3i Atlas closed in, Webb performed one last ultra-deep scan. Officially, results were withheld for 48 hours before a partial report was released. Unofficially, leaks from within the project painted a darker picture. Webb's instruments had detected traces of synthetic polymers embedded within the gas and dust, molecules resembling plastics and carbon nanotubes materials that do not form naturally in space. Webb also picked up isotopic anomalies in carbon and hydrogen, signatures unmatched by any known body in our solar system. In plain terms, 3i Atlas contained materials that should not exist in nature. In response, emergency task forces were convened by NASA, ESA, Roscosmos, CNSA, and JAXA. Their goal was not to stop the object, which was beyond any known planetary defense capability, but to interpret its intent. Yet in the face of growing panic, NASA abruptly shifted strategy. Routine public updates ceased. Data streams from Perseverance and Tianwen went dark. Press inquiries were deflected. Then a classified transmission leaked from within the agency, containing just three words, impact protocol initiated. Speculation spread rapidly. Some claimed that encrypted signals had been sent from Earth to every functioning asset on Mars. But why? With no technology capable of deflecting 3i Atlas, what purpose would such signals serve? Unless, perhaps, they were not intended to stop the object, but to communicate with it. If 3i Atlas is intelligent, or controlled, then activating Mars systems might serve as a response, 
a confirmation that we are aware. And if so, Earth may have just revealed itself as a participant in the dialogue. Meanwhile, cryptographers at the SETI Institute began analyzing 3i Atlas's trajectory as though it were itself a message. By converting its orbital data, velocity, vectors, time of closest approach, into binary, then compressing it with algorithms used in deep space messaging, they discovered structure. The data encoded atomic numbers, carbon, oxygen, silicon, iron, the building blocks of both biology and machinery. Interspersed among them were prime number sequences, the universal hallmark of intentional communication. In short, 3i Atlas's flight path may be more than navigation, it may be a signal in motion. If that is true, then the impact window itself is not just a danger, it is part of the message. If it collides, that is one outcome. If it misses, that is another. Either way, the cosmos may already be speaking through the language of trajectory. Further studies revealed chilling coincidences. The projected path of 3i Atlas intersected a region of Mars known as Elysium Planitia, home to perfectly concentric ridges and spiral-like formations long dismissed as geological curiosities. In the center lies a 3.5-kilometer-wide circular basin containing crystalline silicates that pulse infrared light at regular intervals when struck by sunlight. Some scientists now wonder, is this basin a natural formation or a beacon awaiting a rendezvous? Adding to the mystery, Webb detected a shadow object trailing 3i Atlas at a fixed distance. Not debris, not gas, something darker, invisible to radar and infrared, yet moving in lockstep with the primary body. The possibility emerged that 3i Atlas was not alone, but part of a larger system, a carrier, perhaps, accompanied by something more elusive. Patterns continued to surface. Alignments between the object, Mars, Earth, and the Sun coincided with astronomical resonance dates long known to ancient civilizations, September 23rd, October 5th, and November 11th. These alignments echoed in the myths of the Maya, Babylonians, and Incans, who described a flame serpent descending from the dark and aiming for the red god of war. Could 3i Atlas be part of a cycle humans once knew, then forgot? The closer it drew, the stranger the phenomena became. A Princeton neurocosmology team found that human subjects exposed to light curves mimicking 3i Atlas's 17-minute pulses experienced synchronized brainwave activity, even when separated in different rooms. The implication was staggering. The object was not merely emitting mechanical energy, it was broadcasting something capable of entraining cognition. What if 3i Atlas is not merely matter, but thought? consciousness encoded as trajectory. And then came Mars's reply. Orbiters detected a pulse rising from fissures in Cerberus Fosse, repeating every 17 minutes, mirroring the comet's emissions. The signal did not come from above, but from within the crust, as if something long dormant had awakened in anticipation of the object's arrival. In its final days of approach, Webb recorded a spectral signature in 3i Atlas's trail resembling RNA, a structured molecular code not exact Earth's biology, but clearly capable of replication. It appeared to be life in transit, not as cells, but as language, a living code drifting through the solar system. Finally, as Mars, Earth, and the Sun aligned in perfect resonance, 3i Atlas reached its critical point. Monuments on Earth, from Stonehenge to Teotihuacan, had long marked these alignments. Perhaps unknowingly, humanity had been preparing for this moment across millennia. Mars stood as the stage, Earth as the observer, the Sun as eternal source and 3i Atlas as the keystone falling into place. The conclusion is inescapable. This was not randomness, it was ritual. 3i Atlas did not simply pass through the solar system. It performed, it aligned, it communicated. Mars did not simply react, it remembered. 
Now, with one final maneuver, the interstellar visitor has taken position, not to destroy, but to complete something. A pattern, a countdown, a convergence scripted into the fabric of the planets themselves. Mars may be the theater, but Earth inevitably is the audience. We were never meant to be passive observers. We were always part of the design. Because in the end, 3i Atlas did not come from Mars. It came for our attention. And now that it has it, humanity must confront the question we have long avoided. What happens next?